Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Birthing Ritual. For one colorless and one green, it's an enchantment with at the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature, look at the top seven cards of your library. Then you may sacrifice the creature. If you do, you may put a creature card with mana value X or less from among those cards onto the battlefield where X is one plus the sacrifice creature's mana value. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So I've seen people compare this card a lot to Birthing Pod and Birthing Pod it is not. This trick is once during your end step whereas Birthing Pod was broken because you can kinda get to use the ability over and over with a bunch of chain combos that you can build your deck around which of course makes it much more powerful seeing as it's a repeatable effect. Birthing Ritual is more of a value card. It's not really a combo engine and it's not necessarily even a great tutor effect because you're not always going to be able to hit what you want in the top seven cards. But what it is is a very efficient way to get value off of sacrificing creatures that you want to die anyway, perhaps because they have valuable death triggers. And in that sense, it reminds me very much of one of my favorite cards, which is Industrial Advancement. Now that one costs four mana, but it has some advantages and disadvantages to Birthing Ritual. For starters, Industrial Advancement does let you look at more cards if you sacrifice something with mana value more than seven but that being said seven is quite a lot so I think the fact that birthing ritual always gives you a look at the top seven is very powerful the other important difference is industrial advancement allows you to whiff because you're sacrificing something before knowing what's in the top seven cards of your library birthing ritual is nice in that you actually know if there's something that you can get before you sacrifice the creature which means you can make a really informed decision there's never going to be any feel bad situations or downsides where you don't hit what you were hoping to hit you're always going to know if what you can hit is going to be worth it so then you can decide whether you want to sacrifice something or not. That is huge upside but of course the biggest difference between these two cards is the fact that Birthing Ritual costs only two mana. This can come down very very early and give a lot of value to your deck. In a deck with a reasonable mana curve for example you might be able to play something like Wood Elves early on then play Birthing Ritual, look at the top seven cards of your library and if there's something that costs four or less there you can just sacrifice your Wood Elves and get it for free. That's huge because you've already got value off of that Wood Elves in the first place. It also works very very nicely with something like Solemn Simulacrum or all those kind of creatures that have entered the battlefield and death triggers because of course if they've already entered the battlefield and they don't have great stats you're okay with sacking them and if they're something that give you value when they die you're also okay with sacrificing them. So this is going to work very well in those kind of decks and I see it more as complementary to industrial advancement rather than as a replacement for it. I think they're both similar effects that can be fit into the same deck as long as you have enough slots. Obviously I know I say this all the time but Henzi would absolutely love this effect because the deck is chock full of expensive cards that have ETBs and death triggers and are going to die anyway due to blitz. So this is just great in that deck, but there really are a lot of different decks that want this. As long as you have high density of creatures over different mana values, which you should have anyway, and as long as you have a bunch of creatures with either ETBs or death triggers, this is just a very solid value engine that comes down for very cheap and can provide you value immediately the turn you play. I think that that's excellent for two mana. It's definitely a mistake to analyze this as if it was birthing pod because it absolutely isn't, but what it is is a very efficient value card. So that you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think though? Do you disagree with me or do you think I got it right? Let me know in the comment section below. I always make sure to read all of your comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.